Hello folks. Hope everyone as well. Um, so, Jupiter's retrograde cycle, which happens every year, is happening in October this year. Jupiter begins its retrograde cycle on October the 9th at 27 degrees of Taurus in Rigshira and ends its retrograde cycle on February the 4th at 17 degrees of Taurus in the nakshatra of Rohini. So let's get into this. Jupiter retrograde is generally an opportunity to take a leap of faith in that which we cannot quite see, that which we cannot comprehend. It's a cycle that can draw one beyond the material and physical boundaries, right? Making it an excellent time for reflection or going back and correcting something. Because Jupiter energy is intensified and internalized during a retrograde, it can also be a time of deep philosophical questioning. This questioning will extend to all that Jupiter rules in your chart, as well as where Taurus falls for you. If Jupiter here is connecting with any planets, then it's very important to see what planet that is for you, right? Because here we are talking about Venus's sign, right? Venus is a sign of Taurus. So it could very well be that you're reuniting and you're reconnecting with past relationships at this time. Reassessing your finances can also be on the cards and it would be a fantastic time for that. It's time to ask the tough questions regarding all your relationships, like with family, uh, with partners, with money. At the time of that retrograde cycle, Jupiter does not receive any planetary aspects. However, at this time, Jupiter is receiving a Rashi aspect from a very well-placed Venus, also its ruling, ruling planet, right? Sitting in Libra at this time. So this is a good omen, right? Especially for relationships. Um, the five days before and after retrograde periods are the most potent where events can easily manifest. Especially so if you're in Jupiter Dasha or Anthur Dasha. And Jupiter retrograde provides a time when you can easily go inward. Um, you may have a realization at this time, uh, like of your good fortune, in a situation that seemed very difficult to handle before, right? A new perspective, seeing the grander picture, the bigger picture, I mean, that's what really the essence of a Jupiter retrograde is, and thereby you could also feel a sense of gratefulness. So in this, in this way, the retrograde phase of Jupiter has the power to increase your faith. The beginning of the transit, Jupiter is in Rikshira. So on a very subtle level, on a deeper level, it's connecting with Mars. Rikshira themes are activated, so helpful to know what Mars is ruling in your chart. Right? But being that it is Mikshara, this can mean going back and forth, like there could be some indec indecisiveness, uh, like some like fickleness, actually. And again, that can certainly that can affect relationships, right? Being that Jupiter is in Taurus. It can affect money, being that Jupiter is in Taurus and its ruling planet at this time is in Libra. With Jupiter impacting Rikshara, it's a good time to ask yourself if your path to progress is being held back due to your own indecisiveness, due to your own instability in, in your mind. Are you creating your obstacles? It, it, this may have impacted how you, like how you make money, how you spend money. Like These subjects can be on your mind. Um, investments can certainly be on your mind with so many planets impacting Scorpio, it could have also impacted the way you eat. You may be considering changing the way you eat, 
what you eat. If there's a lack of discipline in these areas, you can reflect on it and, 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 and seriously address it at this time. Yeah. So. And like the indecisiveness that you have felt for relationship or maybe a specific relationship partner, it can have you leaving unfulfilled, right? So you can address that. I mean, that's something to think about. The retrograde station at the time, at the time of the retrograde station, Jupiter is also making a trinal aspect with Sun, with Mercury. Both situated in Virgo at this time. So it's great for, for planning, for organizing yourself, your, your life in some way. Sun in trine with Jupiter is a fortunate connection. Solar energy blends very well with Jupiter. Growth can come through studies, uh, through travel, anything to broaden your outlook on life. Jupiter retrograde trine, retrograde Mercury may bring some challenges in communication though at this time. So write things down to get some clarity. It's a good omen, however, for returning to a business or a legal transaction that you started in the past, right? And now you can get some closure here. Excellent time for setting off on a journey, returning to a place that you've been to. Good time generally for travel and learning a subject, right? Going deeper. If you do any sort of charitable gesture at this time, it will come back tenfold, right? So it's a great time for Jupiter Remedies, especially donating to the needy. Donating to any phase of education or supporting a child in their education endeavor. Donating to teachers or spiritual organizations, to humanitarian organizations. Especially when that energy is potent, like a few days before the retrograde starts and a few days after. So let's see what's happening when Jupiter turns direct on February the 4th in 2025. When Jupiter goes direct, it has come back to Rohini Nakshatra. At this time, we have an exact conjunction taking place with Venus and Rahu in Pisces when Jupiter goes direct. Um, we also once again have a trinal connection happening at this time with Jupiter and Sun and Mercury. So this tells us relationships are in central focus at this time. There could be some pleasant surprises. There could be some fated meetings with someone new. And it could leave a feeling of being swept off your feet. Um, you'll feel an instant connect with this person, a deep resonance. It's a time when you could be traveling far and wide as well with both Venus and Rahu in Pisces. If you are on distant shores, this could bring some amazing opportunities for you through others, especially through women. It can also be a time when you have an awakening of sorts, an epiphany about your life, a realization about your life with such a dignified Venus. Give it some time though to make rushed decisions because Rahu is still there, right? Like so close by, so that can elude us a bit. Um, but Venus is much stronger in its exalted state. Again, Jupiter's trines happening in the Earth signs with Mercury and Sun suggests growth, abundance, opportunity for increasing wealth. This is confirmed by Jupiter and Rohini, right? When it goes direct. Overall, auspicious connections are happening at the direct motion on February the 4th. So let's look at all of the signs now. We tend to see transits from the ascendant, but always, always see that gochar from where your moon is positioned. I personally place more emphasis on the transits from the moon. So we start with Aries, as usual. Um, for you, Jupiter is in going retrograde in your second house. You could be reworking your finances at this time. And it was a, it's an excellent time for doing financial planning. Looking at your long-term investments. Uh, good time to save money. Don't be wasteful with expenses. But with Jupiter there, you probably will be. But you'll be spending on things that you're enjoying. Yeah? 
especially like if you're spending on travel and education, it's, it's, it's good. You could receive um, a secondary source of income, like an inheritance from family um, could come through as well um, from a partner. You may also get a sudden opportunity to make money. Expect to experience some blocks before you finally get the outcome that you desire because it's in retrograde. So you're going to kind of go back and forth, make some revisions. If you wanted to change your diet, fantastic time to look into it. If you're planning to get married, I would say wait till Jupiter moves forward in February. But for Aries, this is actually a great Jupiter transit for marriage. If you're single, you may return to an old relationship. You may meet someone new, especially around that time when Jupiter turns direct. Jupiter is a favorable planet for you, right? So it could bring sudden opportunities in these areas, relationship, financial, investment. So Taurus, what's happening for you? Jupiter is retrograding your first house. Uh, you can be questioning many things in your life, including your life purpose, your status. It's a good time to reflect on all the important matters in life, including marriage, business, life goals. Because it is eighth lord in the first house, pay attention to your health. For you, Taurus, this is an opportune time to let go of old destructive patterns that are harming you, especially when it comes to relationships. Changing your diet can have a positive impact on you, especially reducing sweets, um, rethinking investments, how you make money. It's an excellent time to think about that and go back and make some changes. Relationship with children can face some ups and downs now. A uh, good time to reassess your friendship circles. And good time to actually switch off from social media if it's, if it's been affecting your mental health. Um, excellent time to network, increase your immediate circle, right? Reconnecting with old friends can happen quite easily now. So, Gemini, for you. Gemini, for you, Jupiter is moving retrograde through your 12th house. This is actually a good transit for you. Uh, do take care of your health especially mental health. 12th house is the uh, house of seclusion, isolation, charity, but you're also expensive. So at this time, actually, your expenses will get curbed with that retrograde cycle. Um, dreams, visions, messages, fantastic. You can get like really like messages from the astral world that, that you should certainly pay attention to at this time. Write them down. Um, answers to the big life questions can come through dreams. Um, great time to let go of, of, you know, like like old things that you don't use anymore. Relationships that are harmful. Outdated thoughts, destructive, um, destructive thoughts. Great time to give up on any sort of addiction. If you wanted to relocate abroad or take trips to unknown places, fantastic, fantastic time for that. With Jupiter's aspect on your fourth and eighth house, there could be some um, changes in property matters. There may be a move. Um, you could inherit some money. Money can come out of unexpected sources at this time. It's a good time really for you to connect with a spiritual practice, right? Retreat, meditation, like going on a like going on a retreat abroad. Fantastic time for that. You will really benefit from that. Now, for Cancer, you've been experiencing a fantastic Jupiter transit in your eleventh house. That's where it's going retrograde. Eleventh house represents gains of all kinds in life, and this may slow down a little bit, or you might reassess, like you know, where where can I increase my gains. Maybe taking a different life path. It's actually a really good yoga happening for wealth building activities. Because it's in retrograde, some reversals can happen, some slowdown can happen. But really, what you have to watch out for is an unexpected path opening up. Oh, like, oh, I hadn't, I hadn't considered that, for example. I hadn't considered that, that way of making money or that way of 
pursuing my desires, my goals. I hadn't considered that. That thing can happen. So be open-minded. Old friends can come back into your life. Old connections. Excellent phase for making a list of goals that you want to accomplish. Reflect, reflecting on your life path. Um, great, time, great time for going back to school to study a new subject. Father's health is something that you have to be on the lookout for. Pay attention to this. With this aspect on your seventh and third house, you could face some changes in your relationship with your partner and your even, even with your siblings, actually. It's a time to think about what you want out of life, the bigger picture, not just money, but just the, like the bigger picture. It's an opportune time to plan for the future. If you wanted to have children, now is the time for planning. So for Leo, what's happening for you? Uh, Jupiter has been moving through your 10th house. And this could have increased your visibility. It's retro phase, uh, the retrograde phase can help you do some long-term plan planning for your career, for your work life. For how you like for, for things that you do, if you're not working, if you don't have a career, just generally, how are you how are you perceived in the world? If you're looking for a new career path, now is the time to reach out to mentors, to contact for your contacts, to discuss. Talking it out might actually help you see a clearer picture of your life path and what you want. And whether you're on the right path, right? Um, be watchful for your relationship with persons in authority, with your bosses, for example. It's a good yoga, though, for wealth building activities. Um, but being in retrograde, you could see some reversal, you could see a slowdown. Um, you may be seeking other ways to achieve your goals. Eighth Lord, 10th house. We know that some reformation in your career is in the works. Some big change. It could be a complete transformation from what you do now. I mean, you could be a banker, for example. You decide that you're going to... Um, open a spa, right? Like a wellness spa or something. Like it could be a complete transformation in your career. It's a fortunate connection that Jupiter makes to your Lagna Lord in the beginning and the end of the retrograde transit. So it's, it could be a very productive transit for you, right? Especially if you're going back and making revisions concerning finances, concerning money, concerning career. Virgo, what's happening for you? For you, Jupiter is uh, in your ninth house, going retrograde. Good time to review your life path. Good time to review uh, what gives you joy, what makes you happy. The little things, the small things. Are you spending enough time on those things? Or are you, are you just sort of caught up in the daily humdrum? Travel could be necessary at this time and it can come up quite suddenly. If you do travel, it will be beneficial. It's a good time to build your qualifications, your skills. Ninth house is a house of advisors. It's the house of guides. So taking advice and guidance from experts at this time to go, to, to go back and review something, but you're not sure how to proceed. So you reach out to someone for advice. This is the time to do it. Right? In this regard, you can have some aha moments by seeing an old problem in a new light. It could even mean talking to a friend or a mentor and seeing an old problem in a new light because you've talked it out, right? You may be having some self-doubts and fears that are coming to the surface at this time about life in general. And you could be feeling uncertain, right? It's aspecting your first house, after all. Anxiety can be felt if you're not sure what your next steps are in life. So I would say best to reflect at this time and don't do anything. Yeah? With the retrograde energy, surrendering is important to arrive at the right answer. Because Jupiter is positively aspecting your Lagna Lord Mercury at the start and the end of the retrograde, it's an auspicious transit for you. 
So watch for communications, keep them to a minimum, and only discuss matters when necessary. If you made some changes during the retrograde, then this would prove to be very good for you. Yeah. But you might not realize it until much later. Could be even years later. Libra, what's happening for you? For you, Jupiter, Jupiter is retrograde in your eighth house. Eighth house represents obsessions, fears. So some of these can get resolved at this time. Yes. Sudden opportunities can come through investments. Or you could hear about inheritances that you didn't know about. You may learn more about the occult, spirituality, deep healing modalities, right? Get good results now there. Intuition can become sharper and clearer for you also, right, when it's retrograde. There'll be a feeling that divine help comes your way. Overall, a good time for any self-awareness initiative. That 2-8 angle in your chart is very much activated, right? We're talking about Scorpio being your second house. Libra being your eighth. So some, some events could like suddenly manifest in your family, like some relationship drama could come up. The investments that you've made, you have to maybe reassess at this time. If you are into research, you do that for your work, for example. It's an excellent time to see breakthroughs. Those that are involved in research orientated careers, right? You can just, you can also disclose some, um, or you could, some family secrets could come to the surface uh, and they could just kind of drop into your lap out of the blue. Uh, you may find an answer to any chronic ailments you've been suffering at this time as well. Scorpio, what's happening for you? Scorpio is retrograding in, uh, for you it's retrograding in the seventh house, this Jupiter transit. So, great time to renew old connections. Right? Especially if you're having problems with your partner or spouse, now could be the time when you see a way forward in that relationship. It's a good time to review your relationships and come to a conclusion about the ones that are important to you. There may be a break or separation now if the relationship is already troubled. Right? You may meet someone that you deeply connect with instantly as retrograde can bring old connections. This life, past life, back into your life, basically. You may reconnect with someone who you severed ties with in the past. With business partnerships, if there are areas that you need to renegotiate, this is the time to do it. Your earnings from business ventures, however, may slow down. Um, good time to plan travel. Good time to plan a relocation, if that's what you're thinking about doing. Sagittarius, for you, the retrograde transit happens in your sixth house. Jupiter here can bring old problems back into your life to resolve them once and for all. It's not the best transit for Jupiter's sixth house, but the fact that it's retrograde is actually somewhat better. It's aspecting the second and tenth house, you could find working hard is not bringing the result that it normally would. So be patient there. Um, daily routines, this is where you can actually benefit from this transit. You can tweak your daily routines. You can develop, develop a better routine. It could be connected to your like, for example, going to the gym, running, yoga, fitness, whatever it is that you're into. You can reassess that and see, okay, you know what? This isn't working for me. I've been going to the gym twice a week, but I'm going to stop and I'm going to hire a personal trainer or I'm going to go and see a nutritionist and find out like what foods I need to eliminate from my life or add into my diet, right? Like this is a great time for that which are healthy, which routines are healthy, which are not productive. Um, getting up at 11 every morning is really holding me back, so I'm going to change that. Right? 
uh, exploring foods that are healing, um, exploring foods that are suiting you and those that are not. I mean, this is, this is the time to do that. So it can help you actually change your lifestyle in a positive way, this transit. Um, if, you're, if you have pets or you think about buying a pet, good time for that. Because pets can actually bring a lot of healing and a lot of joy into your life. So, Capricorn, what's happening for you? Jupiter's going retrograde in your fifth house. It's a transit where you have to reflect on what makes you happy. What makes you happy in life? What is it? Who is it? Where is it? What gives you joy? The small things. Are you doing those things? Are you neglecting those things? What connects you to your higher purpose, your inner calling? Fifth house Jupiter is confident, creative, it can channel divine intelligence. Um, so slow down on speculative gambling activities, including the stock market, if you're into that. Uh, it's not a good time for investments or starting a business, but it is a good time to consider how you make money, your earnings, reflect on this. Right? Best to devise some strategies for change, for improvement in this area of life. Fifth house is the house of promotions. It's best to ask for your boss for a promotion at this time. And if you are in support of Dasha, you will very well get that. Yeah? If you're single, great time to return to old connections, great time to date, to put yourself out there, to think about what you want from your love life. And it's a transit actually that can bring a lot of ideas about your general life direction, right? So pay attention to your inner voice. You can choose wisely. If you're into mantra practice, that's also a good guide at this time. You can see results with that. Aquarius, what's happening for you? For you, this is a transit in your fourth house. So maybe a residence move. Maybe you're planning some changes in your house. Uh, it's a great time to reconnect with your family. It's a good time to search for a profitable property investment. Good time for studying a new subject. Fourth house represents comforts, also represents your mother, luxuries, cars, land, property, all those things. So your traditional philosophies that you were taught when you were growing up, those can start to make sense at this time. It's a good time to visit your birthplace. If you marry now, then your spouse can provide a strong emotional anchor for you. You can see changes in your domestic life. Uh, you can see positive developments on the career front, right? Some breakthroughs possible here. Yeah. Long distance travel could certainly feature at this time. Maybe a spiritual pil pilgrimage, for example, could feature at this time. So Pisces, what is happening uh, in your case? Well, Jupiter is moving retrograde in your third house. It's a good time to reflect on how to improve your own business, if you have one. Um, it's not a place that Jupiter is particularly helpful. So going retrograde will actually help you think creatively, out of the box, to come up with solutions, especially pertaining to money matters. Third house also signifies entrepreneurial effort. So if you're returning to a project you already started, it's a good time for that, to make some tweaks to that. Reconnecting with younger siblings, great transit for that. Um, third house is also your subconscious mind, right? So this transit can make you feel a little bit agitated, a little bit restless. Petty issues can crop up with others. So be aware of the sudden travel can come up. Connection with partner or your spouse may, like, you may see a shift there at this time. Um, so. so, folks, if you like the video, please share, comment, and subscribe. All the very best. Cheers.